What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you the recap for round two here in CWL Olympics USA versus Team Russia and Russia walking away with a very solid victory of the final 140 to 144. They put on quite a show as far as the stats I mean, at the end of the day, they definitely outplayed us. One thing I will say, call an excuse if you want, but one thing I will say is this war start time for us was absolutely horrible. Just going to be honest about that. Uh, for It was between, between the different time zones. It ended anywhere between 3 and 5 in the morning. So it was very, very difficult uh, for the majority of us. We still played decent, but Russia at the end of the day definitely outperformed us. We had seven 10v10 three stars. They had nine 10v10 three stars. I will go ahead and take a look at this Town Hall 9 hit. I got two Town Hall 9 attacks for you, three uh, 10v10 three stars to show you guys, and three 11v11s, which is what I'm about to get into right now. So for whatever reason, our 10v11 crew, uh, we went one for two, only used two attacks 10v11, which was very interesting. So Russia had four successful doubles. There were uh, six Town Hall 11s in this breakdown. Uh, so we, they were able to do more dips than we were because we had to burn more Town Hall 11 hits on their Town Hall 11s. So we left, I think, four, maybe five Town Hall 10s uh, were left up on the map while Russia was able to clear 10s. They didn't have an 11v11, but at the end of the day, clearing 10s and having all the 11s doubled, it you know usually is going to get you that victory. If not, put you in a very good position to get that victory. Uh, but huge shout out to Russia. Uh, I mean, they played an amazing, amazing war. I, I'm, I was very, very impressed. A big shout out, to, of course, everybody in the USA match. And at the end of the video, I'll show you guys what match we have going on right now in round three. But we'll go ahead and get into these attacks, you guys. So we have What The Huck doing a solid, it's kind of, I mean, it's not a queen charge, it's a queen walk. It's actually a queen walk, Lalo. If you guys look down at the troop bar, there are no wall breakers in this troop composition. And you can see he started balloons down there at six and over at three o'clock. They're all gonna kind of meet up here in the middle. The majority of the air targeting defenses, the wizard towers, the archer towers, were pretty much all stacked and two Teslas were all stacked on that left side of the base, just leaving the Expos, the air defenses, and the cannons over on the right side of the base. So good base identification there, figuring he could take care of the majority of the air targeting crap and do the Lalo from the right hand side and ends up completely annihilating this base. And uh, what the heck did have a 99 six pack. So we'll go ahead and get in to one more Town Hall 9 attack for you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and show Hawk some love Huge shout to Hawk, uh, he is representing, well, he's representing the USA, uh, but he is from uh, FYSB, and the dude had a fresh 99 six pack. So we'll go ahead and check out this one. And that's right, he is using what is now, I mean, kind of, I mean, pretty well known. I mean, the infamous Falcon, uh, very, very popular Town Hall 9 attack strategy, and also Town Hall 10 attack strategy. Uh, so we'll go ahead and see how he breaks this base down uh, in the spell comp to rage to heal. Uh, what was good about this is on that walk trimming the, that entire side down there, he didn't have to use an ability and he didn't have to use a rage on his queen. So you already know uh, that he has set himself up in a very, very good position so far uh, taking on this base. So king down, he's going to go from the pump to the other pump. They're just kind of kind of meet up in the middle. And like I said, this was fresh, so he did not know that those three Teslas were up there at 11 o'clock. He's gonna go ahead and drop down his Valkyries. He's gonna go ahead and drop down the uh, drop down his bowlers, maybe a little late on the bowlers. Uh, but he goes ahead, he gets that rage down and gets that heal right there in the core. Here comes the enemy CC. Uh, Queen is gonna go ahead and snipe out that baby dragon as it was distracted on his Valkyries. They're kind of they're gonna kind of go back to the core. What was good is his king ended up walking but it worked out, worked out even better because his king was able to take out uh, the Tesla farm that was up there. Goes ahead and pops ability. And as you guys see, uh, we do have some bombs inside of the core there. And look at this split kill squad. 
That was another thing that was really interesting about this Falcon attack. Everyone's still learning about it, still learning the diversity. If you guys look closely over there on the far right hand side, he went ahead and dropped a, a, a rage and a heal for those Valkyries to come in and take out the enemy queen. So it's almost, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Whether you're bringing loons, whether you're bringing hogs, whether you're splitting up your Valkyries, whether the king's going inside, king's walking, queen's going inside, uh, queen's... I mean, there's just so many possibilities for this, this attack, and that is why it has been so successful, not only uh, for Town Hall 9, but of course for Town Hall 10 as well. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check out this hit from Asdar Aditya. Uh, he's going to be doing... Check the guys, check out this attack right here. Doing an HGHB. I know when the Inferno Towers first got nerfed, the very, very first time they got nerfed, a lot of people were using HGHB, trying to give it a go, you know, bringing those, you know, 12 to 14 giants uh, to help combat again, a good, you know, a good way, a good uh, offense against single shot Inferno Towers. Uh, but it didn't seem like it really stuck. I mean, HHB, it was it was here for maybe like a week when the, the Inferno Tower nerf first hit. Uh, but check this out, guys. I mean, right now we are in the end of March in 2018 and using HHB on these Town Hall 10s. So he, you can already see clearly what his kill squad got. Pretty much wiped out the whole top side of that base. Started hogs up there at 12 o'clock. Went ahead, dropped down that heal spell that was in that, it was that little island compartment. Had two expos in it, one giant bomb right there in the middle. Dropped down a heal, also dropped down a heal over here at 3 o'clock. And as you guys see, this attack is going to get a lot closer uh, than Asdar probably intended. Uh, but the crucial thing is, and like we see on a lot of bitch attacks, is he still has that Archer Queen ability. So hogs have all now been wiped out. They died uh, ending on that bomb tower. But look at with the Queen ability, took out both those Teslas, took out the cannon, took out the archer tower has all kinds of wizards uh, that he deployed when he first did the initial hog deployment so they're gonna help clean up this base queen ends up surviving very very solid i had to bring you guys that hghb attack it has been a long time absolutely loved it all right guys next up uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out this attack from robbie wait until you guys see this one uh, so we have queen starting over here on the upper left hand side uh, healers down behind the queen. She's gonna go ahead and take out these two air defenses, but look at what we have down in the troop composition. Uh, even bringing a witch, and he has what is that? 27 hogs. Um, and wait till you guys see how he ends up breaking this base down. And a very interesting spell composition. He's got two poisons. He has two skelly spells, a pair of rages, and he also has uh, two heal spells. First rage already down. Enemy CC coming out. Goes in, uh, excuse me, goes in, drops on that poison. Uh, it was a big drag. Queen's going to take it out. No problem. Uh, King just helping funnel all this trash as he did break that junction leading into the gold storage as he does want his queen. Uh, because all uh, both in front towers are up there at the top of the base, uh, pretty much opens up this entire compartment. Nothing to stop this queen. She's pretty much going to round all the way around the bottom. And he's uh, already used uh, King ability. But he does still have queen ability and he is going to be uh, dropping down those hogs from uh, up there at 12 o'clock. And you wait till you guys see how he ends up using it. So here comes the hogs and look at that two skeleton spells to go ahead and take out the enemy queen. It was almost like uh, that golden shower or the, the what is it the ham bone attack where you're kind of doing like a mass hog attack. Uh, just suiciding your heroes dropping down the skeleton spells to get the queen. But this one incorporating, doing the ham bone, but yet incorporating uh, a queen charge on it. And look at this base just ends up getting completely wrecked, you guys. All kinds of hogs still left up. Uh, I mean, has tons of cleanup. And even ended up swagging the heal spell. Absolutely loved the, the attacks. I mean, they're so innovative. It's insane. Uh, like people are saying, not that it's as easy as Town Hall 9. Nowhere near as easy as Town Hall 9. But... The reason why a lot of people are happy with where Town Hall 10 is right now is because of the versatility, the types of attacks that you can do on bases. I mean, so many bases, if you can find the weakness and, and find a way to expose, you know, find a way to expose it, uh, I mean, the possibilities are literally endless right now at Town Hall 10. But 
We'll go ahead and get into this attack from Evan. Uh, we're going to be doing a Queen Charge Lalo. And you'll see he's going to be dropping on those wall breakers up there at 12 o'clock. Uh, and again, just using King. I mean, more. it seems like the King is being used more for funneling, whether you're funneling your kill squad, whether you're funneling, uh, you know, for uh, a Queen Charge, just suiciding him, you know, doing like a Sui Hero. Uh, because of the single shot Inferno Towers, people are obviously been noticing that the king for whatever reason he always steps I, I think if i'm not mistaken i think he's the fastest ground troop uh you know ne next to hogs but he always seems to get in front of the kill squad he gets in front of everything the single shot inferno tower ends up locking on him and then he gets ends up getting completely roasted pretty much swagging your king not even getting that much value so more often than not we keep seeing that king just just used for funneling. Absolutely loved it. But check out the Lalo coming from Evan. Ends up completely wrecking this base, you guys. Uh, Going to be ending on the AD over there. But look at how many loons he has left up. Even the queen survived. Uh, actually, he ends up on the wizard tower. The wizard tower got away from him. That was in the CC compartment. But ends up completely wrecking that base. Absolutely love that attack. Huge shout out to Evan. All right, guys, well, that is going to do it for the 10v10 three stars. Now we'll go ahead and check out the three 11v11s. And like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, us having three 11v11 three stars, Russia not having any 11v11 three stars, but still managing to get that uh, a four star loss. Uh, it's insane to to even, I mean, to even think about it. You get three 11v11s, but, you know, I still end up getting the defeat. Very, 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 I mean, very, very tough loss. Um, but it, it begs the question, what is more valuable? 10 v 11? Everyone knows how difficult uh, 10 v 11 two stars are. Uh, very difficult. Russia was definitely able to outperform us in that department. Uh, and it ended up paying off. Like I said, they were able to use more dips than we were, uh, enabling them to clear all the tens, having two extra 10 v 10s also. So their Town Hall 10s overall definitely outperformed uh, USA in this matchup. Uh, again, huge shout out to them. We'll go ahead and check out this attack. Um, this is from Hoang. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is an alt. This is a, you know a, an alt account. Not not too sure who runs it, but check this out, guys. Doing that classic queen walk um, leading into that bitch attack. You guys can see he went ahead and dropped his jump spell over there at three o'clock. And with these ring style bases, uh, if you can break that defensive ring uh, on your queen walk, that leads into that queen charge, and all your troops can path around the base where you can use your king ability in there, you use that warren ability, plus all of those spells. I mean, just look, guys, look at how much was left up on that attack. Uh, and we do have one more of those to go ahead and show you guys. And here it is right here. This one coming from Sinos. Uh, and same thing, if you guys look inside the base, it's pretty much a ring going, all, I mean, 360 degrees around the base, no walls to stop um, this bitch attack once you get those troops inside, uh, you know, that outer layer. So as you guys see right here, he does have a few witches and a few bowlers over there at 9 o'clock. You guys can see he went ahead and dropped down uh, that max golem, followed up by all the bowlers. Uh, goes in, drops down the bowlers, king behind them, and you can see queen already trimmed that entire uh, upper left-hand side, and she's going to meet up with this kill squad, or with this uh, main push with the warren behind him, goes ahead and pops that warren ability uh, as he was approaching the inferno tower, and the uh, uh, taking on the enemy CC troops. Look, he still has two rage and a heal spell left to deploy, and over half of this base is already gone, you guys. Uh, and still has quite a few spells left up. Troops inside the court. Uh, they go ahead and take out that town hall. They end up routing back around. We'll go ahead and times do this. You guys pretty much know what the outcome of, of uh, what this attack is going to be. All hero abilities have been used. But look at how many bowlers he had underneath that rage spell. Uh, again, just ends up completely wrecking this base. Queen is still up. Healers peeled off. They're healing up the bowlers. And they're going to end on the Spell Factory. Beautiful attack coming from Sinos. We've got one more 11v11 three-star to show you guys. This one coming from Exit, a.k.a. Agent. Uh, and he's going to be doing 
a Sui Hero Lalo. So we'll go ahead and see how exactly he breaks this base down, breaking those heroes in uh, to the compartment down there on the bottom right hand side. And if you guys look, look goes ahead and drops down a, a giant just to help tank a little bit, just a little longer for this queen. Notice he doesn't have any skeleton spells, so he was banking on his queen to take out the enemy queen. So check this out. Uh, still has queen ability. He's going to go ahead and pop it. And right, uh, right now, goes in, takes out enemy queen. And there she goes. And now he, you can kind of see where the Lalo is going to be starting. And even ends up getting that <laughs> get, ends up getting that bomb tower as well. So Queen is down. Uh, goes ahead and pre drops four haste spells, and who's just going to be lolloing, uh Not even really around. Pretty much just from one side of the base to the other. Pretty much, uh, not really in you know like a, a clockwise or counterclockwise formation. Hounds down. Uh, tank uh, tanking for all these loons. Two raid spells right there in the core. Goes in and pops that Grand Warren ability as they were approaching those two air defenses. You see a couple loons did split off down here at six o'clock. Uh, just fell shy, or just fell short of taking out that wizard tower. But look at how many loons he has under uh, or inside that uh, warden's aura right there. They take out the wizard tower. Uh, last defense that is going to go down is going to be that Tesla. Nothing but cleanup. Haste fell down. There we go. Nice split. And you can see he already started uh, uh, his cleanup with the pups up there at the top. Um, or the pups cleaning and he had minions up there at the top, but that's gonna do it three LMB 11 three stars Very very interesting stats to this war, but still getting a four-star loss huge shout out to Russia best of luck to them uh, In what is it? Yeah in their round three not too sure uh, who they're warring. Uh, I will go ahead and show you guys uh, We actually are in prep uh, it's like our first world. We had a 24-hour prep. Here we go. We'll go ahead and check it out uh, against CWL Japan USA versus CWL Japan uh, And so far you guys the stats are pretty much well not pretty much a hundred percent Dead even check that out both using 58 attacks both with 27 three stars stay tuned uh, for the next video where I go where I'll go ahead and recap uh, the outcome of this where this is a must win for team USA uh, in order for us to make it into the playoffs into the opening round. So wish us best of luck uh, but That's gonna do it for the video huge shout out um, to USA huge shout out to Russia GG on the victory if you guys liked it Make sure you hit that like button comments questions or concerns down in the comment section below and of course subscribe to the channel if you have not already and This is Riggs. See you next one